competition. Please listen carefully. During the opening ceremony, Academia staff released several cages of butterflies, and many of them are now fluttering within Sumeru City. Amongst these butterflies, three of them will be special swift flies. They have a different appearance and also fly a little faster. Your objective this round is to find a swift fly and bring it to me. Three points will be awarded to the first participant to return, two to the second, and one point to the third. That is all for the first round. Should you require clarification on anything, please ask any of the other staff. Oh, Hazen's all business all the time, huh? Hmm. That said, how did he get picked to be a commentator? Paimon's kind of curious. Finding three specific butterflies in a place as large as Sumeru City sounds rather improbable. Hmm. If these swift flies behave anything like regular... I'm off. It will take some time to search every corner of Sumeru City. Huh? You're going just like that? A champion walks the road to victory. <laughs> My dear Kasharawar Jr., I have a plan. How about some cooperation between you and me? Cooperation? Looks like everyone's got their own plans for this, Tuffy. We're supposed to go on stage next, right? Uh, let's wait and see everyone's reactions first. Huh? Wait a minute. Look, he seems to be observing the other contestants just like we are. <laughs> we were right not to let our guard down. Do you remember those things we made previously? Huh? You mean... It's time for them to shine. It looks like Farazan and Kave have some secret plan. Oh, hello there. Madam Faruzan and I are discussing how... Shh! Hush now! The walls have ears around here. We should keep it a secret for now. But you'll find out what we have in store soon enough. Come now, let's go. Before the others act. All right, there's no time to lose. We're off to make our preparations. See you later. Hmm. This is basically what I'll need. Do you think you'll have any difficulties? I have most of the reagents with me, and I can buy the rest. Kale, you're here too! Um, Tainari, you have a master plan ready? My hypothesis is that the Swift Fly's morphological variations won't significantly affect their fundamental nature. So I'm planning on using this to lure them out. Of course, I could be wrong. Every mutation opens the door to new possibilities, especially when they are artificially introduced. Details will have to wait until after the post-experimental analysis. For now, Kale and I are going to buy some reagents for our experiment. All right, well, uh, see you later. Okay, see ya! Hmm. Hey, Layla! Hmm? You look a little worried. Yeah, I have no idea what I should do. What color are these swift flies? Do they have special markings? How do they differ from ordinary butterflies? Oh, I can't even figure out these basic questions and most of what I've learned in the past is completely useless here. Aren't people who research the star supposed to have some extraordinary abilities? Why not use astrology to solve it? Oh, you're another contestant. That guy, was it? Is it that you can't use astrology during the day? <laughs> Guess that skill's less useful than I thought. No, it's not like that. If it's daytime, all I need is an astrolabe. 
So, why don't you do that then? Uh, Mona Magistus, the astrologist, said that those who constantly use astrology to obtain things that shouldn't be theirs will eventually lose the blessing from the stars. Um, it's just something I read in an academic publication. Uh, I really love to read Mona's essays. You're overthinking it. Power is just a tool. It just seems to me that you don't have the resolve to win this. Well, suit yourself. <sighs> Wallow in your immature ideals if you like. Hey! Uh, seriously? Just walking off after saying a bunch of mean stuff like that? Uh, um, did I say something wrong just now? Uh, thank you so much. I've made up my mind not to use astrology for this. I think I'll just try my luck in the city. Uh, to be honest, I've always been pretty good at observation, and if I'm fortunate, I might be able to find that special butterfly species. Lord Sino seems to have found a swift fly. Come on, let's go check it out. Really? Where? The butterfly flew up high, and he's chasing it now. Oh, no time to lose. Let's go see. Ah, oh, as expected of Sino. Ah, oh, actually, shouldn't you two go have a look as well? The moment when he catches the butterfly will likely be one worth recording after all. Oh, I'll head into the city shortly to start my own search. I'll see you later. Alright, in that case, let's go see Sino first, and then we can check on what everyone else is up to. I'm going to try my luck in the city. T this is my first time commentating for such a competition. I'm feeling kind of nervous. Nilu, how did you get picked to be a guest commentator? The staff said that spectators would be less inclined to come if the contestants and commentators were... I don't quite understand it, but I'm happy that we're able to all meet again. I didn't expect that you would be invited as well. Neither did we. Uh, by the way, how did you get picked, Alhatham? There were several factors, but primarily the recommendation of the sages. I suppose they assumed that I'd have the free time for this job after resigning as acting Grand Sage. That said, they'd probably claim that my calm demeanor would help maintain fairness in the competition. Sounds like you've got a lot on your plate. Not really. The job itself is quite simple and effortless. Good. We've got all our ingredients. Next, could I trouble you to help me mix them together? <laughs> of course, Master. Find a good place to... Are you sure it's all right to release so many? Have some faith. It'll be fine.
Stay put. Don't move. Uh, he got it! Huh? Sino, what's wrong? This isn't what I'm looking for. It's a... <sighs> Finally, I made it. I heard that you caught a swift fly, Sino. Mind letting me see what it looks like? Uh, hold on. Isn't this the mechanical bait that I released earlier? Why would you catch that instead of a swift fly? Wait a minute. If we consider this from a different angle, isn't it a good thing that the bait you made was convincing enough to fool even Sino? That's right. During a previous interior design project, I felt that the artificial flowers on a wall were a little bland, so I decided on placing a few moving mechanical butterflies to add some pizzazz. In order to make them both small and nimble, I consulted with Madame Faruzan. Not long ago, the two of us took all those mechanical butterflies and released them into the city. Why would you do that? <laughs> Need you even ask? Young people these days really do need to get out more. Have you never played that game where you play strips of paper on a bamboo pole and wave it across a field of flowers to attract a whole kaleidoscope of butterflies? No, I haven't. Wait, so you're trying to... That's right. The butterflies within the city will mistake our mechanical bait for one of their own and follow them around. As long as we keep releasing and retrieving our bait, we can capture all the butterflies within the city. What comes afterward is just a matter of separating the swift flies from the others. Huh. Guess that's one way to do it. Do not underestimate the wisdom of your elders. I had already thought of this method the moment the round's rules were announced. Of course, we also owe much to this fine junior of mine here for making such lifelike butterflies. It seems that Kasharwar has not quite declined as far as I had thought in recent years. Their teaching skills at least seem to be intact. Well, I just stuck to what I do best. The idea was yours. Ah, no need to be so polite. Once we capture all these butterflies, we shall split the points for this round. Ah, look! One of them is returning now. Huh? Wait a moment. Are my eyes deceiving me? Why don't I see any butterflies behind it? That's because there are none. Seems like your plan has hit a snag. Looks like the match continues. I'll be looking elsewhere. Huh. Strange. Has something else diverted their attention? Come, let's search in the direction the bait returned from. We'll go have a look too. How could it not be real? The Morta boy. Tainari! Fascinating, isn't it? The butterflies have all congregated here due to a special incense that I used. I infused it with three different types of honey, and the butterflies, following the fragrance, have gathered around me. Oh, butterflies must have really sharp noses then. Oh, wait, do they even have noses? Oh, I've never seen one. They do not, in fact, and their vision isn't stellar, either. 
However, they can use their antennae to distinguish between scents, and their olfactory senses are generally quite advanced, allowing them to detect floral fragrances from great distances. Oh, so that's how it is. <sighs> I had a pet butterfly once. I picked wildflowers and placed them in its box, but it wouldn't eat any. That's normal. Raising butterflies isn't difficult, but there are many things you should take note of. Appropriate temperature, sufficient air, and a spacious environment are examples of such considerations. You must also ensure that the food you've chosen suits their palate. Most importantly, you must curb your curiosity and avoid disturbing them while they rest. Otherwise, they may become stressed. Ah, uh, sorry. I liked to poke at its wings at the time. Uh, humans tend to rear many creatures due to their aesthetic value, but not all are suited to such a process. Caring for living beings is hard work. Impulse alone is insufficient. Some prerequisite knowledge is always required. You sure do know a lot! Uh, I have a question too. I bought a scarab not long ago and it hasn't seemed very active. Can you help me figure out why? I'd like to keep a dust bird as a pet. What are some key points I should consider? Um, is it possible to keep a Rishbalan tiger as a pet? All right, it seems like you all have a great deal of questions. <laughs> but I am in the middle of the Interdarshan Championship at the moment, so I'm afraid I can't answer them all now. Let me propose an alternative. Next month, there will be a biology lecture at Gandharvaville, and I will be sharing some interesting insights on living organisms there. If you're interested, you can attend that lecture, and if you should have any questions, just prepare them ahead of time. I'll answer questions after I've finished speaking. Uh, all right! I'll be there! Of course, please try to ask more... rational questions. For example, whether you can raise a Rishbalan tiger as a pet or not is mainly dependent on whether you can overcome one in a fight. Looks like Tainari's science lecture will draw quite a crowd! Huh? Oh. <clears throat> Was I listening in for that long? Seems Kale's master does live up to his title as a teacher. Madam Farozan, I've had a look around. Nearly all the butterflies in this area have been attracted by the incense. However, we can cast our bait further away to avoid this area. All right, then let's get moving. We shan't let all the butterflies get away from us if we can help it. Seems like the competition's really heating up. Let's go see how the other contestants are doing. Hmm. The scent seems the wind is stronger than I thought. The insect. lead the swift flies back here. I'm really counting on you. Let's wait here. Whew. Seems my age is catching up with me. What brings you two here? Huh? You're here having coffee? Uh, aren't you supposed to be a contestant? Is there really any need for me to take part while everyone's running around like it's some sort of carnival? Don't worry. I'll get involved once things actually get serious.
This is taking longer than I thought. Searching for quite a while now, but I haven't seen any sign of the swift flies yet. Instead, I ended up catching a few mechanical devices that looked very similar to butterflies. Uh, I wonder where they came from. Uh, looks like Baruzan and Kaveh's devices are everywhere now. I'll keep up the search. That said, I've noticed that a number of butterflies in the city has already decreased a lot compared to when the event started. Probably because the other contestants are coming up with their own ways to catch butterflies. Uh, Alright, I'll do my best too. Uh, huh? What's this? What a coincidence. I guess I just need to catch it now, right? Oh, um, please wait. Ah, oh, there it goes. It's so fast! Paimon thought all hate them said they were only a little faster. No, come back. Come on, Traveler. Let's go, too. Here's going off. Looks like someone's already cut themselves a swift fly. Take it easy. The locator's going off again. So someone else finished too? That would mean that the one Layla's chasing is the last swift fly. It just occurred to me that we should also get you a makeup box. No, it's fine. I, I don't think I'll end up using it. Maybe you won't, but it doesn't hurt to have one, right? Come on, just trust me on this one. Huh? Uh, who are you, and what do you want? Uh, please, don't move. Don't move? Who sent you? Dear. Don't worry, I can handle this. Now, tell me, what do you want? <laughs> I believe she's looking for this. Here, take it. A, a butterfly? Was it on my head? It's been a while, Layla. A friend of yours? Oh, so she must be the one you were telling me about. Huh? You two know each other? Oh yeah, it has been some time. The first time I ever woke up after sleepwalking, I somehow found myself in Aru Village. Uh, Candace was the one who took care of me then. That's right. She didn't look well, so I gave her something to eat. She said a lot of complicated things about astrology, the night sky, the stars. Not sure I understood it all, but it sounded pretty enchanting. Right. Do you still want this butterfly? It seems like you were chasing it all the way here. It's of little use to me, but if you don't want it, I can release it. Just let her have it. It's no big deal. The swift fly was flying so fast!
but you were able to catch it like it was nothing, Candace. Oh, it didn't seem that quick, really. I was actually worried that I would injure it. But I'm glad that didn't happen. Anyway, sorry about the butterfly thing. With the way you suddenly came running over like that, I thought you were hired to take us out or something. Huh. On second thought, I guess I've never seen an assassin that looks tired with dark bags around their eyes. Oh, you must be taking part in the championship. Tch, take it from me. Don't let it stop you from getting some rest. Uh, I'll do what I can. Thank you. Hmm, we'll be on our way then. See you later. Alrighty, let's bring the swift fly back together with Layla. It seems we have a third contestant who has returned with the swift fly. With that, the first round has come to an end. I anticipate that all of you will keep up the effort for the second round. Dismissed. Ah, uh, um... Your closing statement sounded so... How do I put it? Decisive? Well, you could certainly stand to try being more decisive, Nilu. It would help you live more freely. Hang on a second! with swift flies. Tainari was first, and as for the second, it's being discussed right now. Hey, Alhatham, I think I've come up with a good idea. Second place gets two points, right? Can't Madame Faruzan and I split the points between us? Quite the imagination you have there. I've read the championship handbook from cover to cover, and I never saw any rule which permits that. Then we can just add a rule. Do you really think I'd do that? Oh, come on, you're not going to stand in the way of my victory, are you? Well, you're free to send the organizing committee an application outlining your naive proposal. They'll get back to you within three working days. Three working days? It'll be too late by then! <laughs> Unfortunately for you, even dreaming is gonna cost you. Ah! Paimon gets it now. Kave and Faruzan found the second swift fly together, but the rules say that only one person can get the points. <sighs> oh well, the rules are the rules. Since you call me madam and politely ask for my help, I shall give you these points. So I'll put the points under Kave's name then? No. If I take these points, won't that only detract from your contributions, Madame Faruzan? You might be alright with that, but I cannot do it. Not in good conscience. I don't have any problem with it. There are two more rounds after all. Losing one isn't a major setback. But if you insist, I have another method. We can draw lots to see who will receive the points. L lots huh? What? Is there something wrong with that idea? Uh, no. Well, let's do it. All right. I'll get the paper needed for the lots. Give me a moment. Oh, seriously? <laughs> I'm sorry, but it appears that luck was on my side this time. No, you do deserve it. I'm just lamenting my bad luck. Perhaps... Oh, perhaps that's why my life is rife with troubles. <laughs> Indeed. It's rare to see anyone with such terrible luck be so willing to decide victory via lots. And what would you know about that? I just... Uh, we can save bickering for later. Record the points under Farazan, and that'll finally bring the first round to a close. The second round will be held in the desert. We'll be moving our commentator stand over to Aru Village. Let's meet up in Aru Village once everything is ready. I'll announce the details of the second round then. Till then, you have some free time. 
I'm off the clock at this point, so it's farewell for now. Wait, I'll hate them! You... Ugh. Don't be upset, Kaveh. Sighing can carry away your good luck, you know. Oh, so that's how it works. In that case, I'll take in some deep breaths. Maybe that'll help me make up for all the luck I've lost? <sighs> it's really no big deal. Two points aren't enough to decide victory or defeat just yet. I'll win the next round. You'll see. Looks like you've managed to pick yourself back up, young man. Good. I must warn you, though, that I'm quite familiar with the desert. You'll have to try your best if you don't want to lose. I'm no stranger to the desert either. I'll be fine. All right, then. That's enough chit-chat for now. I'm going to check the area out. Hmm. So the current standings are Tainari in first place, Farozan in second, and Layla in third. Oh, guess we should also take a nice break before the next round starts. But where should we go first? Why, you two look a little lost. If you're not sure where to start enjoying the Academia Extravaganza, then may I suggest that you have a chat with our boss? Your boss? Who's that? Do we know them? <laughs> well, only the most famous merchant in all of Sumeru, Lord Sangama Bay. Oh, you mean Dory! Precisely. Our boss sent me to inform you two that she'll be waiting for you at Sumeru City's North Gate. Well, if it isn't the Traveler and Paimon. Hey, Dory! Are you here to attend the Academia Extravaganza Q? Of course! People are practically flocking to Sumeru City! You couldn't ask for a better opportunity to do business! This is one of the entrances into the city, and it's very close to the Wisdom Gala booths. There'll be an endless stream of customers. <laughs> I can already hear the Mora going clink, clink, clink as they fill my corn pouch. Well, is there anything you'd like to purchase? We've got everything you need and deals that can't be beat. Hmm. Well, do you have anything to eat? Oh, wait, we're celebrating the extravaganza and you're only thinking of eating... <clears throat> I mean, of course, we've got lots of things to eat. That said, I recommend that you also consider some of the great bargains we have going on. The Wisdom Gala is about to begin, and once it starts, each of the Darshans will prepare a small challenge for everyone. And just between us, I have some Super Booster Supplements for sale. Eat just one to boost both your strength and dexterity for a short time, allowing you to overcome any challenge. Uh, no thanks, we'll pass. These little challenges are gonna be a cinch for the two of us. Just you watch. Anyway, Paimon just wants something to eat, please. If you don't have any food, then we'll just go somewhere else. All right, all right. Mora is Mora, after all. Oh, what would you like to eat? Hmm, well, Paimon's pretty hungry right now. Uh, do you have any patching? Let me see. This is a huge job, isn't it? If this works out, we'll be set. Here you go. Two servings of touching. See? I told you there's nothing Lord Sangama Bay can't procure. Yay! Uh, huh? What are you looking at, Traveler? <laughs> 